Hi, friends. I wanted to read a story to you today. It's from the Berenstein Bears. The Berenstein Bears have lots of books. You can see some right here. They learn lots of new things, and they have a really cool family. And you can read a lot about the Berenstein Bears. But this story is called The Berenstein Bears' New Baby. I remember when my family had a new baby. Lots of things were changing in our family. Let's read about the Berenstein Bears' new baby. Down a sunny dirt road, over a log bridge, up a grassy hill, deep in bear country, was a family of bears. Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Little Bear. They lived in a large tree, which Papa Bear had hollowed out and made into a house. It was a very fine house, and this is what it looked like inside. Would you like to live in a tree? That would be a cool house. It was fun growing up in bear country, helping Papa get honey from the old bee tree, helping Mama bring the vegetables in from the garden. There were all sorts of interesting things for a small bear to see and do in bear country. Look at all those fun things to do. It looks like he goes exploring a lot. Small Bear felt good growing up in a tree, in his own room, in a snug little bed that Papa Bear had made for him when he was a baby. But one morning, it did not feel so good. Small Bear woke up with pains in his knees and aches in his legs. Small Bear, you have outgrown your little bed, said Papa Bear, as he hitched up his overalls and buttoned his shoulder straps. Today we will go into the woods and make you a bigger one. With that, he ate his breakfast of piping hot porridge, washed it down with a gulp of honey, took up his axe, and walked out the door. But Papa, called Small Bear, following after him, what will happen to my little bed? Don't worry about that, Small Bear, said Mama Bear, and she closed the door after him. She smiled and patted her belly, which lately had grown very big and round. You've outgrown that snug little bed just in time, said Mama Bear. What will happen to my little bed, said Small Bear, when he caught up with Papa Bear. But Papa was sharpening his axe on a grinding stone and didn't hear him. Oh, yes, indeed, said Papa Bear. You need a bed you can stretch out in, a bed that will not give you pains in your knees and aches in your legs. He tested the axe to see if it was sharp and then headed off into the woods. What will happen to my little bed? Small Bear asked again as he caught up with Papa Bear in the woods. Papa had chopped down a tree and was splitting it into boards. We will have a new baby soon who will need that little bed, said Papa Bear as he whacked off another board. A new baby, asked Small Bear. He hadn't noticed that Mama Bear had grown very round lately, but he had noticed it was harder and harder to sit on her lap. And it's coming soon? Yes, very soon, said Papa Bear. With one final whack, he split off the last board, which gave him enough wood to make a bigger bed for Small Bear. They made the bed a good size and took the rest of the day to go shave it smooth and neat. Then they carried it back to the tree and right up to Small Bear's room. Wow, they're working really hard on that bed. When they got there, Small Bear noticed right away that his little bed wasn't there anymore. My little bed, said Small Bear. It's already gone. You outgrew it just in time, called Mama Bear from the next room. Come and see. And it was true. There was his snug little bed with a new little baby in it. 
Small Bear had outgrown his snug little bed just in time for his new baby sister. And now he was a big brother. She was very little, but very lively. As Sister Bear, or as Small Bear leaned over for a closer look, she popped him on the nose with a tiny little fist. Hmm, said Small Bear. She has a pretty good punch for a little baby. That night, he stretched out proudly in his bigger bed. Ah, he said, being a big brother is going to be fun. And the next morning, he woke up feeling fine, with no pains in his knees or aches in his legs. But his nose was a little tender. When there's a new baby at your house, there are lots of things that change. But we can love the new baby, and we can help our mom and dad take care of a new baby. A new baby is a big job, but you can be a great helper. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.